Hello everyone, I'm Chewy, and this is your random card of the day. Today's random card is... Death Lord. Oh wait. Oh, it was the wrong card game. I'm sorry, excuse me. Just never mind, I'll uh, shut up. Don't worry about it. It's an addiction. It's a problem. Help. Please help. Okay, so, magic card of the game. Day. Game? Card of the game? Game of the, game of the card. Card games, yes. Alright, never mind all that. Let's go to Gatherer. Look, it's Gatherer. Look at that. Gatherer. Right. So let's scroll down to random card and we click. And what do we get? We get, whoa. Yes. We get Singer Vampire. He's one of my favorites. From back when I was a wee chewy. Maybe not that wee chewy. Yeah, that's about right. Okay, I'm back. Like real me. Mm. So, Singer Vampire. Really, I loved this guy back when I was a kid. Singer Vampire was first printed in Alpha with this art. Buh. Then Beta, Unlimited, Revised, Fourth, and then it disappeared for a while. It was uncommon during all that. And then it came back in Ninth Edition. Well, actually, no, then it came back in Torment with this art right here, which is awesome. Then, let's see, 9th edition, 10th edition, still rare, and in 12, they decided it's not really rare anymore, so it's an uncommon again. Hey! And then in 14, and final 15. It was also printed in Master's Edition 4 online. Dual deck, Soren vs. Tybalt, I'm gonna guess in Soren's deck. Beat down with this art, reminiscent of the Baron, pretty cool, and also in Battle Royale with the original art. It's pretty awesome. Look at that. He looks like such a dapper fellow as he rips your face off or throat out or whatever it is that he rips. You know, whatever. So what does he do? We understand that he's awesome, whatever. So for three black black, he's a 4-4 flyer, which for black, pretty good. And he says, whenever a creature dealt damage by Singer Vampire dies this turn, Put a plus one plus one counter on Singer Vampire. So basically what he does is he kills things and gets stronger, like a vampire. All the art is just amazing. All three pieces are just freaking sweet. I love them all. The original is very... Nosferatu reminiscent. Still very obviously a vampire and very bloody and very gross and gothic and awesome. The beatdown one, again, like I said, is reminiscent of Baron Singer, who is equally terrifying, and I hope he becomes a random card of the day at some point in the future, because he's great. Buh. And then the new one, again, he is, it's awesome. There's just no, there's no, there's no two ways about it. It's great. All of them. They're great. I love it. You don't like it? Shut up. This is my show. <laughs> So we all know that I like Singer Vampire. Who else likes Singer Vampire? I'm pretty sure Timmy likes Singer Vampire for the same reason that I like Singer Vampire because it's awesome. If you can just eat one thing and become a 5-5, five five, the chances are you're gonna get bigger because eventually, eventually they're gonna have to block a 5-5 five five flyer if they can. And if not, then you just kill them. <laughs> so pretty good. The real great thing about the Singer Vampire is that they just keep getting bigger and Timmy loves that. So Johnny, I think Johnny is going to enjoy finding ways to make the vampire bigger through using its ability but without having to rely on your opponent attacking into it or blocking it. So like putting a lure type effect on the vampire or giving a ping and death touch, something like that. Johnny's into that sort of thing. So Spike. I don't know, for five mana, especially nowadays, for five mana, there's, there's so many better things. Oh god, so many. So Spike probably looks at it and goes, Okay, but screw Spike, we're not talking to him today. So let's see, how about aggro? This thing was actually kind of terrifying in the early days of Magic because of Dark Ritual. And it's hard to beat a 4-4 flyer that gets bigger on turn... That's awful. But nowadays, again, there's just better things to do, but back in the day, it was definitely aggressive. Control might? 
like it, like as a budget control card, I, maybe? I don't know, probably not. But it is a big flyer, and control decks do tend to like big flyers, so maybe, but probably not. A uh, combo... nah. Combo... can't think of any reason this would be in a combo deck. Ever. I'm sure there are. Don't get me wrong, I'm saying I can't think of any. So let's see, what about Moto? I guess you don't... you don't need to look for dice? I guess that's a reason to play it online? Whatever. Let's see, how about Limited? 4-4 Flyer and Limited is going to rule the world. So this thing is definitely a powerhouse in Limited. That, and if they do manage to get some other Flyer, you're just going to eat it. And Constructed, unless you're constructing something tribal, which I, I have, like 60 card casual vampire deck. Oh yeah, there's a single vampire in it. Bleed at. Constructed is more than just standard, obviously. So... Uh, and in Construct is where you build tribal decks, so yeah, you can't build a vampire tribal deck without a single vampire in it, or us old schoolers will laugh at you and call you noob. Actually, we probably won't, but we'll be like, there's no single vampire in there? Come on, man. Even though you're, you youngins aren't emotionally invested in it, you'll be like, why would I put it in there? Am I laughing? <laughs> So how about Melvin? I don't know. I think Melvin appreciates the stats and the fact that it can get bigger, but this one is more Vorthos, I think. I think Vorthos is like, it's a vampire, and it flies, it's really strong, and it eats things, and it gets stronger, and that's freaking awesome! Am I a little, is this uncomfortable? Sorry about that. Personal space. Breathing my air! So yeah, this this is way this is way more Vorthos than Melvin. I think this is one of the cases of an early magic card where they said, hey, we want to make a vampire. What's good about vampires? And they go through that spiel I just went through and they go, huh, and they came up with this, rather than starting with, hey, if it kills something it gets stronger, and saying it's a vampire. I just I don't know that for a fact, but it's a hunch. It's a hunch. Like Quasimodo. I got a big hunch on this one. Was that bad? That seemed awful. Sorry. So it leaves us with Commander, and fine, whatever. It's not big and stupid and splashy, and it's not overpowered, and it's not massively expensive, and it's not game-breaking or game-changing, so it's not going to be what the Commander player gets all about. But, I mean, it'll go in a deck just fine, I guess. It's going to be deck filler. It's going to be something that makes the deck go, you know, makes the deck not just all high-end cards, rather than something that's a superstar in a commander deck. So, eh, I'll say meh for commander. Meh. Meh. So that's that. Love Singer Vampire. Oh my god. Love Singer Vampire. No, really. I love it. Freaking awesome. It's not super powerful, but it's great. There's more to greatness than power. Just ask. Oh no, Dark Confident is power. Oh, never mind then. Mm. Whatever, it's awesome. So, this has been your random card of the day. Be sure to like and subscribe. Shoot me a comment, let me know what you think. Do you like this card? Did I mess something up? Let me know. But anyway, this has been your random card of the day. Thank you all very much for watching, and uh, go play some magic. Maybe wear a turtleneck, you know, protect yourself. <laughs> and some of the gravity in Zendikar was sort of ha 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 ha. People don't think the universe be like it is, but it do. So Revolving Wild is the big trees. They're sort of ripping apart. Like. Willie Loxodon. Now that is really an elephant dude. See, that's the elephant dude. Yeah, isn't he cute? I mean, he is really big. He's going on a long journey. See that truck? That was the sound of a face palm, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>